Tucker McCann now set to do the honors here, and we are underway from Nashville. Ken Adewagu now out of his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. now to throw on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more, thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. On second and 10, Cousins steps away to his left. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Here's second and ten. Working out of the gun, Cousins lets it fly for Thielen. And incomplete on the deep ball. Another incompletion there. That's five in a row now to start this game. He's got to take a deep breath now, step back, shake it off a little bit, trust his offensive line, and hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. And that will be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Now Cousins on fourth down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And the third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked up by Kevin Farley. And the Titans are going to have great field position here. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big play there for Minnesota. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit, and that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Seventeen nothing, our score after one. First down. Here's the run with Cook. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. 
On second down, it's Cook again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. First down, here's Cousins. Looking deep for Adams. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referees. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook punching it in from a yard away. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about it. All right, the offense back out there now. Let's see what they can put together. Cousins on first down. They'll roll him out right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. To throw is Cousins. Looking deep for Adams. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Vikings. Devontae Adams. 59 yards, and the Vikings get the quick strike touchdown. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something, when you execute really well. So this offense will head back out there, already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. First down, Cook. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of the face mask, I think. Well, when you get an elite running back like he is, sometimes you've got to employ the by any means necessary method to get him down. Yeah, sometimes you're relieved even if a flag comes out. But if you just get the hand up and you get it on the mask, you can kind of get away with that, but as soon as you curl it around a finger or the hand, that's pretty easy for everyone to see, and they'll call that one every time. From the gun, here's Cousins. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Devontae Adams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Vikings on just two plays have taken the lead. Uh, he's having a nice little first half here, Bart. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans will take over here as they... Following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 
looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively, and it'll bring up second down. A second down throw for Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this is caught. It's a touchdown. Oh, there's a flag down. They're already walking this one back. This one's not going to stand. Holding offense. Would have put him in the lead, but hold that thought. Yeah, the celebration had to stop, didn't it? Because now you're on a real uptick. You're in the lead. Instead, you're still behind. Have to find a way to regroup. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. To throw, Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath with those guys on the defensive side of the ball. <laughs> They've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Cousins to throw it. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings have taken the lead. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together. And... So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Following the interception, Cousins. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Titans are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Final play of the half, Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this one is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. Let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. 
Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fields this way up at the 17. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Throwing. Cousins. Buying time to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jayon Brown able to drop him for a loss of a couple. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. On third down, Cousins. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far. But a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans will take over possession. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He's going to let it go again. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now Cousins. Let's it fly for Thielen. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. A big play there. Cousins to Thielen. 51 yards. A one-handed catch. That's one thing. But with a defender right there, that was a heck of a play. It used to be that one-handed catch was instinctive in a game. Now it's a practiced move. They work on it before, after, during practice sessions. It becomes part of their repertoire, and it pays off. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Cousins now. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kevin Farley. And the Titans are going to get the football here as the ball. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Here's Cousins. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out.
And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing his Cousins. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this is taken in at the five. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there for Minnesota. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Cook, and he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Delvin Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach up? Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match. Then a football game, back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. They go play action here on first down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans are right back in this football game. They give him now... Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs keep possession of the football. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Cousins from the gun on third. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Cousins to throw for it on fours. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 
Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time, and that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. To throw once more on second and ten. Cousins. And he slings one that's incomplete. I think you have to chalk that one up for the defense there. Someone right on the spot. Excellent coverage. Didn't leave him enough room to come down inbounds, even though he did catch the football. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this will be in. Complete. Boy, can you believe this? That one probably should have been picked, too. Instead, it's fourth down. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Vikings up. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.